everybody and thank you for joining. This is your host Nino and in today's experiment together we shall be exploring how to make a tablet or phone based on Android look retro. See, my friends are sometimes asking why does my stuff always look so retro but I have the suspicion the why is more of a how. And I'm going to show you one very easy way to do that with onboard facilities. Only trouble is uh, you cannot film that with the screen recording functionality because it's not going to catch these changes. It's just going to show everything unaffected. But we of course want to demonstrate things. So first you go under this little wheel there for your options. Then you go to the system settings and then uh -huh, you need the developer options which are not active. Awesome. Okay, what was it? How was this working? Okay, now an about tablet. There should be some version. Maybe it was the build number. Ah, you see, you're now three steps away from being a developer, two steps away from being a developer, one step away, and boom, you now are, you are now a developer. Great. So we're back here, and in system, we're having the developer options. Yeah. And going to these, there are certain visual options. And these are the ones we're actually interested in. So, just let me have a look here. Yeah, one funny thing which I am always for it is to show the taps that way. You see when I move my finger there is a little circle. Yeah, you see it here as a residual thing where I just I tapped. It shows you where did you touch the screen. This is extremely practical. In, in order to to see whether you're somewhere mispressing and doing things somehow the wrong way. Then, uh, view updates in no way, but this is the one I wanted to show you. Simulate color space. There you go. And, well, the most classy thing you can do is, of course, to go for monochrome. So now we're having a monochrome tablet. And if I go here you know, 1950s tablet, you know, <laughs> Google Meet, black and white, everything extremely stylish. We can go here anywhere, we can go to, to some Wikipedia, you know, to read things. Again, everything is in black and white. So, yeah. <laughs> You're having some article about some Jesuit. Okay, let's go there. You know, an extremely classy thing. You can even go, I don't know, for instance, to the BBC. Yeah, this one. And again, the BBC in black and white. I, I, I do love this. Like, this is... In my opinion, the most classy setting. And as you see, it affects all your icons. Everything you do from now on is in black and white. So, if you like that, you might also want to try out something else, which we shall do right away. So, monochromacy is great, but Tritanomaly, blue yellow, is in my view the other most classy one. You see? these like fainter colors as if this is some some coloring from the 1960s which has really aged throughout the decades like you do have some form of color here but everything looks off you see like even even this one about elvis daughter you know nothing is flashy everything of this is you see everything of this is a little bit discreet a little bit less less flashy than it would normally be one minute world news you know you, you see a red a red is a red but everything else is a little bit off and playing with these color space options in particular not this normal you know red and green one this is not all that spectacular but the 
Blue yellow one is also pretty good. I think maybe also proton normally. Let me see. Yeah, and that does not look all that retro. As you can see here on the icon, it just looks off, but, but not truly retro. So Proto Anomaly is not my favorite. And let, let's also see Deuter Anomaly. So also you see these, these red green ones, they are not all that great because they actually let things look like here, you know, the skin gets greenish tint and so on. This this is not really all that antique. So this, the really stylish ones are monochrome as well as Trit Anomaly. And Trit Anomaly is like 1950s, 1960s colors. You know, like if we look at the Play Store here, the icons, everything is colored in an antique way. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So when you are when you've had enough of these little games, you can just go here and say disabled, and then everything will be you know back to normal. So that's what the Play Store normally would look like. And that's it. That's all there is to it. In case you decide to go for a more retro look, this is how it is easily achieved. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you next time. From me, goodbye.